so since you probably don't know how this works, um, the way that they're doing the bands, I don't even know if they know how it works either. But um, so basically, whoever wins rock paper scissors gets to ban two gets to ban uh, the first stage, right? So then they ban one, then the next the other person bans two, and then the and then the original person bans one again. Out of the five stages that are selectable, which is Yoshi Story, Found of Dreams, Down here. Battlefield, here, so Battlefield, FD, um, then uh, Dreamland, and that's probably because those are non-moving, non-ridiculous right. shit happening. Right, they're they're pretty they're pretty even stages for the most part. Yeah, or in the nature of them, but what makes them uneven for different character matchups, or what gives them certain matchups for different characters is like, let's say like you're playing Marth, because Marth's sword can cover a large area. Hit, like depending on the height of a platform from the ground, yeah. like Marth's sword can cover a certain area of the platform, so like yeah. it's harder to approach Marth on certain stages. So Marth mm -hmm. has an advantage on stages like uh, Found of Dreams or like Yoshi's Story, which is very small. Okay. You know? But FD, which is like super open, this is also kind of Marth favored in ge in general. But like this is really a stage that favors whoever has a better combo game. What's the point of using Dr. Mario? I heard you say he's not really the greatest. Well, it, I I don't entirely believe in the tier list so, so much. Like, I think that the tier list has, like, some evidence for the, to the fact that, like, certain characters tend to do better in tournaments. Um, but a big reason for that is just because, like, players who are really good tend to use better characters just because it gives them that much more of an advantage mm -hmm. so it's not really about the character it's really more about the player and that's that's what's very great about this game is that like Whoa. it doesn't matter how good the player is if they're bad at the character you know like yeah. like i just went against both a doc and um a marth mm -hmm. and i and i still like kind of crushed both of them yep. you know but it, it wasn't like you know an, un, an uneven like you know, like they, they both did just about as well as each other yeah. against me. So it's not, you know, that's because they're probably about the same level character, like player. Mm -hmm. So it's really more about how good the player is than it is about the character. But okay. Doc, but that being said, assuming the players are e like equal in skill, mm -hmm. I would say that Doc does have to work a little bit harder to mess to to mind game someone and like mess with their space. If he's gonna get in, because Doc can combo once he gets into someone's space, but because he doesn't have a lot of range on his on his hit, like on his moves, yep. it's hard to get into that space. So then, what's the benefit of just the combos? Will be the best benefit. Well, it, you know, it, it's not just about the combos, but it's just like if that's his best character, then he should go as that character. Okay. You know. So that <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. The pill re jab reset. Yeah, it. So he doesn't have his double jump there. Why? Why was that? Because he used it. Yeah. This isn't that bad of a game, though, you know? They're, uh, it's pretty even. It, you know, obviously Sheik's up by one stock, but this is totally doable. The doc just needs to stop doing so many double jump approaches, because the w one thing that I learned about this game early on is that if you approach after you do a double jump and you don't get the hit, then you, that's a free shield grab for the person, depending on the character. Um, and Doc is definitely one of those characters that can't really get out of uh, a double jump approach on shield. So it's actually better to jump out using your double jump than it is to jump back in and it seems like the doc is using his double jump to go in more than it is to go out. And who's your favorite character? My favorite character? I don't know. I play a lot of them, you know? Like, I'm play I've played... So far, I've already brought out uh, four characters this tournament. Um, you know, I like playing... Marth is my main, probably my best character. Even After though you started the first, like, four games with Falco? With Falco, yeah. Um... After that, my best character is Falco, uh, is Falcon, Captain Falcon, and then it's probably Falco, mm -hmm. and then Fox, and then Mario. Um, I don't really like to play Sheik or anything like that. No Jigglypuff. Nothing. All right, Jigglypuff is fun sometimes, but Jigglypuff is a little too slow for my for my uh, for my taste. You know, I don't really like her combo game that much. I don't think it looks that fun. You know, because ha half this game is is the aesthetic appeal to me. I think the way the moves look is, is cool. Frank Gallo said that he's he used to do this. He did. Yeah, Frank, Frankie's pretty good. He is? 
Yeah, he's probably... Better than you? No, not even close. Um, he's probably about as... He'd probably be like top three in Geneva if he if he put some effort into it. Mm. Yeah. He told me that, and I was like, I don't believe him. <laughs> yeah, no, no, Frankie played... I played a lot with him last year, and I play with him every now and then this year. Um, so it looks like Monkey Biz switched to Fox here, doesn't think the Doc can do it, and then he picked Pokemon Stadium, which is actually a very Fox-favored, uh, stage. But what needs to happen here is he needs to get his, uh, his Nair approaches and his Dare approaches need to be on point. But right now he's just using Dash Attack a lot. Once Nunches figures out that he can just Crouch Cancel all of his Dash Attacks, then this should be really free for the Sheik, unless the Fox starts to do some, uh, aerial approaches here. Or grabs. Just run up grab is also a very good mechanic that Fox has. Because he's so fast. See that? He just like wave dash back, let let the uh, Sheik throw out a move, and then and then just up through him. Oh, okay. Uh, now why is this spot favored? This stage? Oh, right. So the ceiling on this stage is actually very small. It's it's very it's it's probably the lowest of any ceiling in the in out of any stage in the game, at least of the competitive set. Um, and because Fox, most of his kills will be off the top because both his up smash and his up air hit have really right. large knockbacks off of the top. Okay. So this stage makes it a lot easier to kill as Fox. Up plus. Yes, like, upwards. Plus, Fox, because he's so fast, he has an advantage when he uh, can run around, and Pokemon Stadium is actually pretty pretty wide when you look at how like big of a stage it is side to side. And Fox does well. Oh, that was really good DI on that forward, on that forward arrow, I, I gotta say. He DI'd down instead of, like, up, because normal survival DI would be to DI up, but he DI'd down there so that he would be able to tech on the stage and stop his momentum going to the right. DI? DI stands for directional influence, so like when you get hit, if you're holding your control stick a certain way, so if I'm holding left, I'm probably going to go more left, depending on when I get hit, you know? Um, so if, you're, if you get hit right, you'll go... If, you're going, if you get hit right, what you want to do is you want to hold up, because... Because, you know, if you're off stage, you fall, so to make your recovery better, you want to be able to go from the top corners of the, of the state, of, like, the whole box that is the, the stage, you know? Okay. Yeah. So right now, the fox is, is doing a pretty good job of, like, staying out of the chic space. For the most part, oh, okay. you know, he's trying to bait out the Sheik to approach, and then he's grabbing. It, it's, it's what it looks like his general game plan is. And it, and it seems to be working right now. He's got a little bit of a lead. But he's just got to stop trying to play so slow. And, you know, if he can if he can pick up the pace a little bit, he could put on some serious percentage this stock. And, you know, he could, he could really take this game. <laughs> All right, so Gary and me, Will and Good needles. And Good down smash. Solid edge guard from the Sheik. Yes. All right, Augie, let's go. Let's go. I'm so done talking about this, dude. <laughs> I can't, I can't talk about melee anymore, man. How you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to learn. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a really like deep game. Honestly, it was like a subliminal meaning. <laughs> well, when I said deep, <laughs> yeah, a whole bunch of friends just get pissed and fight each other. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. <laughs> Real cartoon violence. I mean, it's it. Yeah, it's the new. It's the modern age board game. Seriously, it's like Uno. Yeah, you ruin friendships. Dude, Uno is my shit, man. Come at me in Uno. <laughs> I'll make you draw four, motherfucker. Oh, fuck that shit, dude. I'll make you draw four, and I'll change the fucking color. <laughs> <laughs> wow, alright. Yeah. <laughs> you heard me. You got me. You did? Oh, nice, oh, nice. Edgeguard. Good stuff. There you go. That was, that was a solid edge guard by the Fox. Fox takes game two. So now sets one one and she gets to counter pick. Counter pick this person. Counter again. Counter pick. So so she gets so Ninja gets to pick his character and then he gets to pick his stage. After that, Monkey Biz gets to pick his character. So now because Ninja can hear everything I'm saying, I'm not going to tell him which stage he should go. But um, is that right? That that's right. <laughs> 
No, Final Destination is terrible. Wait, didn't you already win on FD? No. no. Well, no, there we go. What was the first stage? FD. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You already won on FD. You can't. You can't select FD. Oh, God. No, you have to. You have to pick a new stage. That was the wrong stage, anyway. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it, it wouldn't matter, you know. I'm not telling you. <laughs> so fucking wrong, dude. <laughs> it's not bad though. It this is good. This stage is good for like runaway foxes because or, or foxes that are good at like playing the game fast. But right now, Monkey Biz can't really play the game fast. Why not? He just he just doesn't seem to have the tech skill to do it. So if you know if there if we had like a faster fox playing right now, then it would probably uh, it it would look pretty crazy because this stage it's hard to get away from fox because it's so small so fox can just chase you down forever on a different note yes did you ever play yoshi's island the game no the only the only game i played was uh oh oh, oh this uh, no no i did not play it okay all right wait yeah it was yoshi's you see that little dick in the background with the stop sign? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? The little dick with the stop sign? What about the little dick with the stop sign? He's an asshole. You need to, you need to play the game. You need to play the freaking game. He's such a jerk, man. Oh, uh, why is he such a jerk? Oh, the SD by Fox. You get extremely far in the game. And Yoshi can only jump so high, which is why the stop sign's so tall. Because he stands in the path, and it's like a fork in the road, so you run to the other side, and he's like exponentially faster than you, so he quickly goes to the other side. And if you try and jump over him, the stop sign stops you. He's a dick. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do? I just got really far in the game, so I gotta deal with your stupid ass. <laughs> That's why. That's right. Why we're in the what? That's why we're in the highlights. <laughs> the commentary highlights. Yo, yo, Mod Bob, where you at? Did you, ever, <laughs> did you ever play Yoshi's Island? Yeah. What do you mean? With this little guy with the stop sign? Yeah. Isn't that's he an Yoshi, asshole? That's Yoshi's story. Yo, Yoshi's, Yoshi's story. story. Yeah, yeah, Isn't yeah. he an asshole? Yeah, he's a huge dickhead. See? Okay. You know, you know it's actually really funny. It's Yoshi's story. This this map is made out of cardboard. If you look, everything is cardboard. Mm. Isn't that funny? That's pretty cool. Yeah, that guy's still. Like, this is what him and my commentary is bad. It's just like random stuff. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I was, you know, yeah, I yeah, just suck like, at this, He's man. like, so anyway, this dude's teching real hard, and I'm just like, dude, you got it. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you gotta go fast, you gotta man. Go fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you're not first or last. I mean, why not? Yeah. yeah. Talladega Nights. Talladega Nights, for sure. Shake and bake. I, like, I figured someone... What is it that I said that you, like, love? Well, I, there was that little rap that I also had. But... Oh, my gosh. We were doing... You know the song "Only Got Four Minutes to Save the World" no. by like Madonna and Justin Timberlake. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. So I'm doing the backbeat, and he's like, he said something about Mark just had a fall. We were playing brawl. Just kidding, it's melee. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, so <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. I nice. lost it. Uh, <laughs> oh, he paused. That's a stock. That's a stock. That's the set. That's the set. Monkey Biz takes it. <laughs> oh, they're gonna play it out. <laughs> that, that's actually a rule. That's a real yeah. rule, but like, we're, we're gonna play it out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> have it been known? Have it? Have it known that Monkey Biz actually won this set? <laughs> uh, look at that face of defeat. That's unfortunate. What a dick. Look at that. That is. Uh, no, I mean, like, look at Fox. Like, what a dick. Great dick. That sucks. We've we've all been. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's a great dick. That's a great dick. Solid. Any solace that you can take in that match is that Fox is a great dick. Solid dick right there. <laughs> great dick.